Thank you for joining us today on EDFA. Welcome to the program. I'm Ayola Kasim. Across Africa, climate change has already affected weather. These changes have contributed to more frequent natural disasters like flooding and drought. Agricultural land is turning to desert and heat waves are killing off crops and grazing animals. Over the long term, changing weather patterns are likely to drive farmers, fishermen and herdsmen away from affected areas. We are already witnessing this in some parts of Nigeria. Environmentalists have also warned of water wars in which rival governments or militants fight over declining resources, sending even greater waves of migrants in search of security and sustenance. Well, how serious is this problem? Many say it is very serious. Today on EDFA, we look at how all these affect our lives. Do stay with us. Security analysts say they are already seeing the impact, particularly in migration patterns from Northern Africa and the Sahel region, which is the band of farmland just below the Sahara Desert. Failed crops, ailing livestock and localized conflicts over resources are already driving residents of the Sahel northward to flee poverty. A record 65.3 million people were uprooted worldwide in 2015. The United Nations Refugee Agency says many of them flee wars only to face walls, tougher laws and xenophobia as they reach borders. The figure, which jumped from 59.5 million in 2014 and by 50 percent in five years, means that one in every 113 people on the planet is now a refugee, asylum seeker or internally displaced in a home country. There are no reliable estimates of climate change induced migration, but it is evident that gradual and sudden environmental changes are already resulting in substantial population movements. The number of storms, droughts and floods has increased threefold over the last 30 years with devastating effect on vulnerable communities, particularly in the developing world. In 2008, 20 million persons have been displaced by extreme weather events, compared to 4.6 million internally displaced by conflict and violence over the same period. Who are these environmental migrants and displaced persons? First of all, we have to understand that uh, many people are forced to move, some of them because of natural disasters, some of them because they cannot sustain themselves anymore in their place of origin. But some people might also decide to migrate simply because they can, for instance, foresee that they cannot maintain themselves in their natural environment. People tend to move either because of sud sudden disasters, like floods, earthquakes, and so on, or it can also be because of slow um, degradation in their environment, like desertification, sea level rise, and so on. What the studies tell us so far is that many people move for a variety of reasons. They don't tend to move only because of environmental or climate impacts, but very often it's also linked with political, economic, and social factors. There was a, a lot of uh, noise around the study on the Syria conflict a few months ago, um, where some uh, academics have made the links between the drought in Syria and the current <coughs> conflict situation. So this is one of the examples of how the environmental factor plays a role in a bigger kind of picture. Secondly, what we, what we do know about these people is that most of them tend to move or be displaced within their own countries or within their region, not so much across international borders. So how many of them are they? This is a very difficult question to answer. We have some data from the Internal Displacement Monitoring Center that tells us that on average, 21.5 million people per year are displaced because of environmental disasters within their own countries. So over the past eight years, that makes about 172 million people. And these are only people who are displaced within their own countries. They are not crossing any borders and only following a disaster. So we don't know how many people are moving because of slow events like degradation or sea level rise. And we also don't know how many people will move in the future. We can only estimate these numbers, taking into account the absolutely enormous amount of people who are already on the move. Gradual changes in the environment tend to have an even greater impact on the movement of people than extreme events. For instance, over the last 30 years, 
Twice as many people have been affected by droughts as by storms. 1.6 billion compared with approximately 718 million. Future forecasts vary from 25 million to 1 billion environmental migrants by 2050, moving either within their countries or across borders on a permanent or temporary basis, with 200 million being the most widely cited estimate. This figure equals the current estimate of international migrants worldwide. We have an unprecedented number of people displaced in the world today, um, mm -hmm. unprecedented in the lifetime of the UN. 60 million people displaced as a result of war, natural disaster, persecution, uh, and so on. And so what we want to do um, is to talk about the environmental dimensions of that. The environmental root causes of displacement now, 60 million people, um, and then potentially in future, as environmental trends increase and potentially exacerbate climate change, land degradation, desertification, industrial accidents, pollution, and so on. The International Organization for Migration um, estimates that by 2050, 200 million people could be displaced as a result of environmental change. That's a staggering number of people. That's one in 45 people in a population of 9 billion by the middle of the century. Sub-Saharan Africa had the largest displacement totals in 2015 after the Middle East and North Africa. One stark example of the crisis can be seen in eastern Niger's Difa region, which borders Lake Chad to the east and Nigeria to the south. Recently, an estimated 50,000 people fled an attack by Islamist fighters Boko Haram in Boso, 140 kilometers from Difa. They are part of a growing crisis in the Difa region near Lake Chad, where Cameroon, Chad, Nigeria, and Niger meet and where Boko Haram has conducted more than 30 attacks this year, according to the United Nations. In May, the Niger government estimated that there were more than 240,000 displaced people in the region. A Nigerian from Boso, Al Haji Ali was one of those who fled the June 3rd attack and is now stranded in an internally displaced people's camp in Difa. Difa is now providing shelter to the displaced, but also thousands of refugees from Nigeria who also fled Boko Haram. Boko Haram's insurgency has killed tens of thousands of people and driven more than two million people out of their homes. Three years into an acute humanitarian crisis,